Oh, look at this. Look at the next characters coming up. Nanase and, uh, and Orie. Oh, of course. That's <laughs> so funny because th we've played this match way too many times. <laughs> like, literally the two of us have played this match a lot. And since we came up with the idea to use the background music, guess what music we get to use? <laughs> we get to use Nanase music. Whee! Okay. The best thing. Oh, no, no, go back right. Right there. Oh, there we go. Well, that is a complicated title. Sora Yori Nagare. Maybe someone in the chat could, uh, Hasiru Kaze. Something wind. That, I, I know I know Kaze means wind. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> well, Sora okay, is sky, go. I think, too. All right, here we go. Okay, so uh, I haven't had a chance to write down anything, so this is all going to be going off the cuff right here. Uh, but this character, I mean, the, the, what I, the reason why I picked this character is she's pretty basic. She's not crazy. She doesn't have a lot of wild gimmicks or anything like that. And uh, she has really good range. And in my opinion, she's going to help you learn the game systems really well. This is why I picked her. Uh, one thing that, you know, uh, well, I'll get to that weakness in just a little bit. Uh, but she's going to basically be rushed down with mm -hmm. a small amount of zoning with the fireball. But the fireball it's is so really just annoying. to help you to get in. It's sonic boom, basically. Yeah, uh -huh, basically. She's a sonic boom rushdown character with that version. And it's so cool, too, because she can do this now. <laughs> and here? Yeah, so if you try to jump over it, oh, aha, I can so lock sick. you down. It's, it's really sick. So she has a standing B. This is her 5B. But her 6B, which is the exact same move, so I can do this and not launch it, oh, but I can 6B it. and launch it, oh, which is actually really cool. That's nice. And I can even do it off of the A one, too, I think. Um, oh, yeah. oh, oh no, wait, I forgot. No, okay, not off the A one, no. just off the B one then, because that's the other one is slow enough. But yeah, it's a really cool. Uh, do, uh, you have some primers for the character inclu that includes Nanase. Yeah, you can post them in the chat. I, I mean, for other people to look up yeah, and stuff exactly. like that. And for people in watching this on YouTube to go in there. I probably won't use it right now just because it's not going to be formatted here. Nanase used to be really bad. Yes, it was very <laughs> frustrating to play her. But I just know that she actually uh, won a Japanese tournament, mm -hmm. like a big tournament. Oh, really? So she, she's, really, she's really good now. She didn't even get that many changes, but she got a couple of cool things. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, what makes her what makes him different for the rest of the cast? I mean, she's a rushdown character with range, right? So off of her assault, she's got great assault buttons. She's got yeah, all sorts she of has crazy a, an things. Amazing mid range game too. Yeah, and, and like the standing. Look at this thing, right? So she's a rushdown character with. Look at this two B. Look how far of a low this I, is. That's the bane of my life. This for a move long time. is so ridiculous as a low. So she's a really good kind of zoning character like this. And if you can learn to do the neutral version like this, then you don't even dash forward, mm. right? And then you can use that to get in. Use this to get in, and then. You know, yeah, to make yourself safe like that. Yeah, yeah and she really just cool. has really good range, and then lots of air mobility because her uh, her CD her BC move. Uh, what is it? the, the, the force the, function? Force function. She flies, right? So she's one of the only characters that has the ability to really kind of do some tricky things, like so, right? And then etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And that's the other thing too is she can confirm off of that at max range too. Yeah, that's nice. And then she gets her full combo, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's really, really good. Um, but you know, the ability to fly, because normally when you assault, you can't do much else, right? You don't have any control after assault. But she can actually watch block really quick. So I can actually assault. Um, in, I can assault into fly like this. Huh. I can fly into assault. Oh, nice. You know, so so basically. I can't assault off of a normal normally, right? So I can't assault off of this. But if you're willing to spend the meter, I can fly assault. Wow. So that's how she can she can kind of like so low block really quick. So I can keep pressure going this way, especially in the corner because then I won't cross you up. So in the corner you can do like that. Nice. So she can actually jump cancel into it. This is why I would not have no force function. This is why I this is why I never had Vorpal <laughs> because I was doing this a lot. I was always doing you know this as pressure, mm. and because um, you know you can chain off of that because it's an air uh, one. It's not yeah. the ground one and stuff. So you can keep pressure really well with this character. So this character is really it, it's kind of like a good rushdown with really good range. And like I said, this way. 
it's a good character to learn because you don't have stubby normals, mm -hmm. you have good normals, yeah. but you don't have a lot of crazy gimmicks that you gotta learn. So yeah. you're gonna you learn feel a very lot of footsie esque mm -hmm. compared to like Inkidu yeah. or like uh, Mika. Yeah. So actually. As uh, you know, I know David always says she looks super boring because she's anime and he hates people with swords. Uh. <laughs> but she she's actually really interesting. She's really fun to use, and uh, it helped me learn the game a lot because your use also, even though it's a weakness that you never get Vorpal, I'm spending it so often that I never have to worry about that feature. <laughs> uh, that, no, that's so that's bad. The, yeah, yeah, I know that's Don't terrible. Do that. <laughs> but uh, you gotta change that, James. Her Vorpal trait, which is cool, this is new. Uh, if she has this activated. Um, I think I think she could fly twice. I think is what it was. Oh. Uh, let me see. Nana say. Uh, I think that's what it was. It was in my thing. It was in my. Um, I forget. Is it just when I have Vorpal on like this? Yeah. Oh no, you have it. Yeah. That's why. That's why. I need to change this around. Here we go. So there we go. So we set this. So if I get this. I think she can cancel fly into fly. Yeah, she there gets you a go. double fly. Right, so in this mode, basically, obviously, you give them even more meter this way, or you're using up more of your meter. But now she even has more air mobility, right? So, <laughs> so basically, I can do uh, fly, fly again, you know, or oh, I'm coming, oh, you know. Yeah, so you get an extra bounce. You get a little extra bounce on that, so it's and really, I think you really get cool. Uh, cancel it off of the air attacks too. That's why. Oh, can you? Let me see. Uh, oh yeah, so can I do? Uh, oh wait, no, because you can only do ground fly into air fly. You can't do air fly into air fly. So I can probably do this. So could you do jump and then do it So twice, what I maybe? can do, yeah, stand still for real quick. I can probably do... Uh, no, I can't, I can't, okay. I can't. So I can just fly into fly. Oops, I'm not in Vorpal anymore. I can! Yeah. I can, there you go, so I can fly twice. So basically, I could probably do something Can like you do um, jump into that. Go twice? to the corner and block. Let me try something. This is going to be tricky. Low block, and then uh, block my force function. Uh. Dude, <laughs> I get mixed. So I can do. Oh no! Okay. I was trying to fly. Oh, I'm not uh, in yeah, Vorpal. Yeah, yeah, I'm not in Vorpal it. right now. So let's do this really quick. So I can do. Oh, it's too low. It's too low as I oh. think what is that. So if I did it a little higher... Oops. You do one hit. Yeah, I can definitely do it off of one hit. Oops, you got it again. But anyways, she's going to get a lot more trickiness here, basically. Yeah, see, mm, there you yeah. go. So she can do like three overheads in the world. And then also, the, the force function cost is halved. So normally it takes one bar uh, like this, but, but if I have, if I am in Vorpal, it only takes half. Oh, so, so two of them still doesn't even use as much as one of them. So, so now if I play this character, I'm gonna want to get Vorpal so and I can apply this rush that down. That type of pressure. Yeah. yeah. So okay. you earned it after, yeah. after you get the Vorpal. So what's her overall game plan? It's basically pressure. So her overhead game is not great. She has dashing uh, C which is her basically her best overhead, which you can cancel out of and stuff like that to continue combos going. Not a really great way to make it safe, but I don't think her overhead is particularly well, strong. Well, because I think with that, then that's what the fireball's for. Right, yeah. uh-huh. So what ends up happening is she's more about pressure and assault because her assault is really good. And like I said, the fact that she can assault into fly kind of like gives her power. And so she's kind of a rushdown character, uh, basically, and then using her range, and then using the fireballs to get in. Yeah, basically. so I feel like the fire... I, I know when I play against her, the fireballs are, mm -hmm. are what scares me the mm -hmm, most. Mm -hmm. Especially, it's like, if you knock me down in the corner, and then, like, you know, and then, like, you set up another fireball, and right. I see it coming, I'm like, oh my gosh. And then, plus the other thing, too, is if, if you try to defend against this fireball, whoops, sorry, let me do that. Stay, stay across okay. the screen. So if I use this to get in, I can overhead and keep it safe on block that yeah, way exactly. with my fireball follow-up. So you can't sit still against Nanase. But now I've got... Let's see, what makes me so happy is now I've got this. Yeah. If, God, if, that's if, so if nice. I wanna kinda, if I want to jump over right. it. Right. So if you're like, okay, well, I'm going to get in now. Now I can prevent you from doing that. That's so nice. That's so good. I yeah, love that. Yeah, assault will probably be the uh, option like to hop over it really fast. Mm -hmm. But you can't block out of assault. Right. So that's that follow-up you get for free. 
Um, so strength. Well, obviously this is yeah. strength right here. This is yeah. the mid range right game. Here. Yeah. Um, but then also her, her two B is just Ooh. the most ridiculous move right here. So good. And it's actually very okay. Don't block really quick. Now you will waste an OTG on this. So normally if you do this, that hits him out of the air. So you don't you don't have to use up your OTG. And then, so basically, if I get a knockdown, I can OTG mm. you afterwards. However, this is entirely hit confirmable because you can still do the combo off of an OTG, mm. but you get no OTG. You don't get the OTG later Option, in the combo yeah. off of that. The other strength that she has is this combo right here. Um, does not use a jump cancel. Oh, yeah, so jump I still have after. a jump cancel afterwards so she can do a lot of extensive combos. And then another strength is that this move, jump 2C right here, always grounds the opponent, right? So mm. every time you end an air, any combo you end, you can end it with this. Oh, it's and so good. And now you have to deal with the fireball, right? So, and now basically I have mix-ups yeah, for free, days, free mix right? Up. So that's the, that's the part that scared me a lot. Right. It's like, oh god, this fireball's coming. So basically, she's a she's a kind of like a, a momentum steamrolly kind of character. Yeah. And if you can get someone in the corner, like I said, then you get like all sorts of pressure here. And then if you ever knock them down, you get this pressure here. And then oh, you get all sorts yeah. of. Yeah. And if I have if I have Vorpal here, then I can do you know uh, and the cancel and the fly yeah. again and all sorts of crazy get things some like really that. Really good pressure. So. Yeah, so she can do that. And her weaknesses, uh, I would honestly say her biggest weakness, like, I think she's a really well-rounded character. Back in the old days, like, I just didn't feel like her tool set was strong enough. Um, I feel like her biggest weakness, is, honestly, is her wake up. Oh, her yeah. uppercut is really, really bad because Straight look at the up. range that you can bait it at, right? So you can just be here. Almost everybody can hit her from right there. For Like, so stay back. So, so like, everyone can hit her from here. But my uppercut can't hit you, right? Yeah. Like this. So it's really easy to bait that out. And not only that, but the other thing that drove me nuts about her get hit by this uppercut is the uppercut. You notice I get no pressure. Yeah. So like flip backwards off of this. Like I get, look how long it takes me to move yeah. again. I'm probably coming up faster than you yeah, are. Yeah, like we almost recover at the same time. So I have to risk a lot to 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 get anything off of that. I, I really don't yeah, think Yeah, and especially it's not one of those like uh like in between pressure, like kind of match DP kind of thing. Right. Because if I do yeah, it, then, it's, then you're dead, yeah, basically. I'm gonna be this far and it's like, whoa. <laughs> exactly. So it's not gonna clip a lot of people. And then the other weakness, obviously, is the fact that I'm spending all my meter. So it's I have to really be careful with my Vorpal management, with my grid management here, because if I force function, her force function is almost too useful to the point where you might accidentally keep yourself from ever having any grid. So I don't know, maybe one of the things that you might have to learn with her is plant this out and build up your grid here, mm -hmm. because then they can't exactly. counter. Like, not a bad option. <laughs> yeah, because if like, I do if this, I'm already scared about this. I'm like, shit. I yeah, that you, you can't counter build grid on yeah. me because a fireball is coming. But then, you know, I'm gonna have to use this to to mix to, it up. Yeah. To mix it up. So <clears throat> there you go. Um, all right. Uh, how to beat this character? Uh, again. I just don't think her wake up options are super good. Mm -hmm. So if you can mix her up pretty decently once you get close up and knock her down. So I mean, this is gonna sound very much like a Street Fighter character, but I think once you get in close, you can blow her up. Yeah, I don't think her normals are that all that fast, so you could probably counter hit her right. a little bit on the easier side mm -hmm. because of that. And her high low mix up is very weak. Okay, so crouch block really quick. Um, well, actually stand block in the corner. My 2A is not alone. Mm. So you very rarely, like, that's my fastest low, right? Which is my 2B. And then like I said, this is my only overhead. So my high-low mix-up, obviously at this range you have to be careful because 2B is super good, but I don't think her high-low yeah, mix-up so is super good. The only thing that you also have to be scared about is um, one of the things they added was the charge jump down C. So this didn't exist before. And the advantage of this is block it, block it when like that. Like, oops, wrong one. I get a lot of frame advantage mm. on that. So even if you block this assault jump charge C, I get a lot of pressure in mm. this situation. So 
that's the best that she can get, but her high-low mix-up is not very good. Mm. So learn solid defense against this character, and then once you knock her down, blow her up. Yeah, basically. and I think it's uh, about reading the, the fireball patterns, and then like, uh, yeah, just like getting close enough so that like she can't retaliate with her normals because she can't DP off you right. can't DP to get it, get you off so it's like and then another thing too is like I said if you do get hit by DP if I don't have a chain shift I'm not doing anything yeah, to you it's not that bad so you're gonna get hit by it and you can't be discouraged by it just keep going yeah. like keep the pressure up against her so uh, does this new increase move have uh, also ground bounces so don't block so if I do hit you with it and I catch you with it like off of an assault it's easy, it's easy combo mm, confirm. Yeah. And then also just off of this combo here, whoops. She used to she used to do um this as a combo. Like this into OTG and yeah, stuff but like now that. She gets the ground box instead. Yeah, whoops, I keep messing up. And then you get to yeah, do extra like combos and you know into up B oh up C, that's what it is. Up C, down C. Oh, okay. And then and then like then she knocks the down C will knock them down, you OTG them down C in the fireball and you get pressure again. Or if you want to do a standard combo ender, you just do that ender right there. And mm. now you you've got close up mix up mm, pressure yeah. that way. So if you mix up between the two, you can keep them guessing a little bit. Uh, fundamentals that you have to learn to develop with this character. Footsies. Yeah. With punishing a lot, just good spacing. You're gonna learn good spacing. Yeah, staying and in this range, because this is like her optimal range mm -hmm, right here. Right, because I can just catch you low here. And so learning, and she's got a good dash. Yeah, and so that like, is, I think a little bit of zoning you'll, you'll learn with her. Right, and then like, like I said, very style. easy to hit confirm with this. And then because you're starting so many combos with two, two like, it's easy to, to, to reverse speed into an A to keep yourself safe. So that's 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 pretty much Nanase right there. Uh, special move explanations. Uh, yeah, we talked about the fireball. So a in lot. the air, she can only do fireball in the air. Okay. So when so if you want to do this thing, you have to tie your knee it basically. That's what it is. If I hold the A button, it goes up. Oh, if I charge it, that's right. You can charge it. The A for, so, oh. so basically, she has the ground on him. This used to go full like further than this. I think they shortened the range on it, unless mm. I just remember wrong. But if you hold it, it will go oh, up. That's cool. So that way, it takes a little bit longer to come out, you'll notice. Or she flashes when she does it. You'll see a little flash. Yeah. But that way, you can trick people. So she's got a better approach game with her fireball. Mm. And you can see when you tiger knee it, the cool thing about it is, is that, you know, it lets you get in even even yeah. just like the B version. So one's slow, the other one's fast. But see how that still gave me the ability to pressure. Um, then uh, the B one is slow. And then the B one... It stays there for a long yeah, time. Yeah, stays there. It full screen. I mean, even to the point where I can dash past it. Look at this. And so, like, just stay in, stay play, stay in place really quick. So she can even get tricky mix-ups like this, Whoa. right? So and she you can get, get the extra hits too. Yeah, because there was also, uh, like, don't block. Let me see this. Like, there was one situation where I could do like this, and I could get, like, the throw before you even, oh, like, the fireball hits you or something like that. It was a crazy situation like that. But um, uh, that's those ones. The C version, which is nice here. One of the nice things about this one. So before oh, wow. it used to hit straight down, and it didn't hit full screen. Now wow. it curves forward and actually hits the full That's screen. Nice. Yeah, so before when you tiger knee it, it just hit right in front of you. Okay. But now how you see how if, as soon as it hits the ground, it causes a curve up. So this it's actually better than it was before. How much damage? Um, wow, okay not that damage. bad. Okay damage. Um, oh, you can charge the B version too? Oh, what does that do? Uh, yeah. I guess it... Oh, I remember what it was now. It took me forever to figure out what it is. It's it's bigger. It's taller. Oh, interesting. See how it's just a little bit taller, so now it covers more space. See, if I do the regular one, you can see it's a little smaller, ah. right? But if I charge this one, it's just a little bit taller, so it's harder to make it over mm. that one. So there you go. But you can see the B one really char lengthens the timing in which it starts up. Oh, wow, yeah, my assault was like so easy to just yeah, go over uh, it. See it? See, there you go. Uh -huh. Yeah, the charge one is, is, is the tall one. That's new as well. The charge fireballs are new to this version. Um, special move, fireball on the ground. She just charges. This is basically her combo tool. <laughs> Wait, high block? Wind car. Does it hit low? Does it hit yeah. low? Well, no, no, it I doesn't hit it doesn't low. Happen. Yeah, so that's the tricky thing about this move. But the thing about it is, 
three follow-ups, right? So uh, it has the A follow-up, which I believe is safe on block. Oh no, it's punishable. Okay, it is punishable. The B version is the overhead, basically. So you can try to catch people with this, and I think you can combo off of this? I think you have to CS it. Oh no, there oh, it was. Oh, okay. You have to do A. You have to do an A to combo off of it. But the thing about it is, she has no low option off of it, so high block really quick. So C version does not high block uh, off of it. So after you block this, if you just high block, you'll be fine. there's no mix up, right? And and really there's no way for her to keep it safe. So get out of the corner really quick. If you block it, oops, oops if you block it and I do the C version, I run away. And uh, I can get away, but if you're aware of it and you know the move that that'll punish it, it's funny because mm -hmm. I use her and Cami, but think of it like Cami EX drill. Uh, yeah. You know how it looks like yeah, it gets it away, past, but yeah. you just have to know your move to blow it up. Yeah. Someone like Mika might not have that move, so she might be able to abuse it against some characters, but um, you can get away from that. But if you notice the C version on hit, so don't block, uh, goes through but throws that tornado uh, up, so and that's, that's, that's how you get that's the combo. combo. And the tricky thing about that combo, this one you just have to learn the rhythm to jump into, into charge C mm. right away. Because any, if you take any too long, it doesn't work. Mm. So you just have it's to learn tough. that. Okay. Then she has quarter circle back. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this, the, the, this one does automatic hit into charge up like that. Oh. And so if you hit with this, you can get a combo oh, wow. off of that. So that can be a combo extender, but late in combos, they can usually flip out of mm -hmm. it. Uh, 214A is basically a combo ender. You can hit a button again to, you know, to hit with, like to, to dive on them. And you could do it really late too, oh, wow. but you can just punch her out of it too. But you can do it really fast too. Oh, is well, that an, an overhead? overhead? Yeah. Oh, interesting. All right, not a great overhead, yeah. <laughs> but at least it is an overhead. Uh, the B one, so if you look on A one on whiff, she goes back, right? Mm -hmm. On B1, she goes forward and the tornado uh, shoots forward. So this one, the tornado shoots back, blows me backwards. The B1 shoots me forward a little bit. Mm. But uh, it's a way to get in, but obviously I can't control it. Oh yes, and if I do cross you up, I come back the other way. Uh. And then the C1 is just a really, this is a good punishing tool, basically. Yeah, it's a good it whip punisher. Up so much on the screen. Yeah, and again, same thing here. I can do um, like this. And then I think I should be able to combo off of that. Oh, you have to time it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, you have to time it. But great with punishing tool. Hits the whole screen almost yeah. instantly like that. Then she has uppercut, of course. Like we said, the light one goes straight up. The medium one goes a lot higher. Uh, I actually don't know if they're truly invincible in this game. I, I, I think they are. I, I'm pretty sure hers is still invincible. Oh no! All right, let me try the B one. Maybe the Maybe. B one is. Right. Yeah, I yeah, think I the think B one is. is. Okay, yeah, so usually the A versions are not. Invincible. Yeah, the A one is definitely not invincible, but the B one's invincible. And the nice thing about it is, if I do hit you, uh, and I do have the Vorpal, and I, if I am in Vorpal, I can do. You know, and then combo, yeah. combo, combo. That's the, like that's that. the risk reward for having CS. Right. That's the only before, way. It, doing it before or after mm -hmm. a DP. That's the only way you can combo off of it, right? So that's the only thing you can do. The C1, of course, is just really invincible, nice uh, button here. But one of the coolest things about this uppercut, honestly, is this. Look, back off, back off. If I do this and then run after it, dude, like, the guy can't jump at me because I can just uh, uppercut yeah. like this, right? So. Uh, I can do this and then just mm, uppercut like that. Uh, so I guess that's how it was designed for in a way. Yeah. So you can catch both sides. Yeah, so you can do that. So I think you can jump and green block it, I think, can't you? Or uh, I'm not sure. Oops. Oh no, okay. you can't. That was a guard break, yeah. actually. Okay, so you can't. So there you go. So that makes her fireball approach game even scarier she can do that. Also, I think zoning characters work pretty decent against her, even though she can fly. But um, that's kind of back on the weaknesses thing, I just mm -hmm. want to mention. Uh, top special moves to use. That's all her special moves? Yeah. I mean, she has infinite worth, combo ender. Doesn't do barely any damage at the end of a combo. Yeah, I almost kinda, never use it at the end it. of it. So, um, but uh, best normal moves to use. Um, 2B. 2B. <laughs> 
it's like, <laughs> to me, there you go. That's the end of the story. Uh, honestly, jump down C is really mm. good right now. And the nice thing about jump regular charge C is that she bounces, so in the corner, so even if you like block my overhead, so if I do, I get, I get uh, more off of this. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, only on my, only on yeah, my fly jump. version. C like that. Oh, that would be considered regular jump. Yeah, uh -huh. so if I if I charge C like this, so you can catch people crouch blocking a little too early and mm. stuff like that. So, but uh, jump two C is really good. Um, jump B I think is a really good normal as well. Mm, that's Just good big. range. But two B is really good, and also five C. I mean, Ooh. you get the range <laughs> on this thing, right? And you can just reverse beat it into this all day. So, and then two. At this range, where they feel safe from this scary move, this move hits, and then you can literally just, like, don't block, don't block. I can just just go straight for that if I really, really want to risk it, right? Or you could, like I said, you can hit confirm it and yeah. use up your OTG that way. So I can go, I think I can even do... Um, oh, the A. Oh, no, you could have flipped out of that. You yeah. could have flipped out of that. But, yeah, you can... Just hit fish with that move, and then if they block it, quickly chain mm -hmm. it into an A and keep yourself pressure. So 2B, 2C, 5C are really good moves. And she can charge this one, but that's mostly for combos, basically. So um, 5B? You actually think 5B is her best move, huh? Oh, there's no hurt box on this, he says. Oh, yeah, oh, look yeah. at that. Oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> Okay. I have to reconsider. <laughs> yeah, okay, so this move is also really good too then. Okay, there you go. Uh, top uses for meter. Uh, to be honest with you, I didn't, didn't use her meter a ton. <laughs> uh, probably this for whiff punishing, yeah, I would imagine. I, I see that being used a lot. Yeah, this is probably for whiff punishing. And then also... Because you get the pressure again after that. The other time that I used it a lot is in the corner if the opponent is blocking. So block really quick. So I can do like, oops, I can do like this and then like from over here, like I can actually keep the pressure going a mm. little bit and stuff. Or how did I, oh, I think it was, could I do that? Yeah, that's oh, what I did. Them locked down. Yeah, I, I did, see. I did the B in the fireball C like this, like that, right? And then now you, I can still keep going yeah. in. So sometimes I would fake you like. I would fake you into assault and fly back like this. Like I would do Try to bait something. Yeah. yeah, and then and then do and then and then throw that out to keep the pressure going. And then oh they also say two one C is plus on block. Oh. oh so it gets you in like this. Wow, that's okay. that's really good. Okay, okay. There you go, there you go. Alright, so good for pressure. Alright. Um high level technique you'll eventually need to learn. Or uh Oh, block, super block, easy B and B. Oh, block, block string. string. Yeah, just that. Something it's into a, a. Yeah, yeah that's pretty basic stuff. Right. You really don't need much. This is how you're going to be starting off. 50, <laughs> 50, 60 percent of your combos here is just like this, basically. That's what I. That's basically what I do. So, um, dude, I this game deserves so much tension. I'm sad. <laughs> Honestly, I'm guilty of it too. I don't even play this game as much as I want. Yeah, to, I'm trying so. to play more too. Um, but then if it hits, like I said, um, just go into this yeah, combo easy, here. Easy to confirm. Right, yeah. So basically, and you know, this part is tricky here. If that part gives you a little problems, I think you can just do, like, um... Just regular jump in the jump B or something like that, Yeah, maybe? something like that. But honestly, learn the charge thing. And then you can just do that as the ender if the if the down if the charge down two C is a little complicated here, but this is gonna be you know your best combo right there. Uh, this is the easy one charge and then just do B down C and then you get the OTG after that into the fireball pressure like that. Uh, wow. So that's 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 a very straightforward combo for her. So there you go. Um, Example, uh, super easy in B and B. Yeah, okay. Uh, high level technique you'll probably need to learn. I think the the, the main thing that you're going to need to learn with her is just tiger how to tiger knee, knee yeah. really well. Because the interesting thing about this, like even at this range, like that's really good, but maybe you don't want to do that. And you can actually learn to tiger knee in different Whoa. directions. Uh, okay. If you do quarter circle forward up back, like that, you can do it in different directions. Wow. You know, 
and the neutral one is actually pretty good because it gives you the most plus frames of dash. Mm. So if I'm at this range right here, and I do it right next to you, like I can't really dash up to it. So even from here, I might want to do that so yeah, I can apply more plus. pressure that way. Or like from here, you know, on the neutral, then I get this mix up over here. And then also learning to confirm off of this too. So just get hit by this fireball. If I dash up, you can always confirm off of it as well. So learning to do the fireball pressure and if they ever get hit, like learn to confirm off of that and then yeah. no, I think just be wary about like when you try to go for the tiger knee if you hit a button mm -hmm, on the mm -hmm. ground that means you're hitting the button too early mm -hmm. and if you jump in the air and you're just like flying and you do an attack you're right. probably doing the uh, attack button too early or the motion is not quite correct mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and in this uh, Unio I will say this a lot of games you can wait a little bit before you hit it and a lot of times you have to because of of height restriction mm -hmm. in Unio, no do it as early yeah. as possible for Nanase. You have, I mean, it, it, you just do the tiger knee motion practically, and it'll come out. Right. If it's not coming out, if you actually end up with this a lot, you're actually doing it too late. Uh, hitting the button too late. Yeah, yeah, do it really fast. And then they say, and then Regan, Reggae Man Murphy says you could use force function to cancel moves into air fireball. Yes, uh, because you know. On block, uh, yeah. right? So this is a very common thing that you you'll see a lot of people do yeah, to keep, to keep pressure. pressure. But again, you're using up all your stuff, and then also you notice that I can do it at, if I'm not fast enough. I can do it at a height, which will kill me. But if you learn to uh, do it like that, then you get the proper mm, pressure yeah. right there. So there you go. So there you go. Uh, okay, uh, cheapest tactic gimmick. I mean, cheapest tactic is do that and run fireball up to them. <laughs> and then chase after it. Yeah, honestly, that's I, I think is gonna yeah, be able to get you pretty, pretty far. Scary. Yeah, and then like I said, use the the, the six B now as a means to keep the opponent guessing. Should I and see that's the cool thing too is like I can run past it and still make it go up. Mm -hmm. So I can run past it and then go up. Yeah, I would say something maybe involving the run overhead like. Oh, this like, thing here. Yeah. Oh, oops, wrong one. Or it, I would say for maybe beginners, it would like be the the far, B fireball, and then choose between the overhead, oh, the yeah, run yeah. overhead, or uh -huh, the run uh -huh. low. Yeah, because the nice thing about it is they have similar startups too. Yeah, so if, that's I'm hard not for. Mistaken. Yeah, so block it. Block the overhead. If they block it, you can force function yourself away. to save yourself. You can force function to save yourself. Yeah, so I would block. say yeah. So so you would throw out the fireball from full screen, mm -hmm. run up, and then choose you know between the the low or the overhead. Right, exactly. So there you go. Pretty cheap. <laughs> uh, you say players to watch. You actually have me listed here. Or oh, you said EG. Okay, okay. <laughs> Example here. No, I'm not a player to watch. Like I said, I used to be. I still remember my greatest Unio accomplishment was a run back that I got second place. Wow. I only lost to Breaker Dave, and I beat LPT in that tournament. Nice. So it wasn't like I just Dang. lucked my no, way that, in there. That's, that's that, legit. That was that's actually legit. pretty good. And then, uh, but that was the best I'd gotten. And that was before a lot of people understood Nanase, because yeah. then LPT, and then Breaker Dave picked up Nanase at one oh, point in time. Oh, just to kind of learn a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and then like I played against Breaker Dave, and I just couldn't, <laughs> like, in that tournament so I couldn't good. do anything. And it, dude, yeah, it was, oh, it was, it was But if, bad. if the chat has any recommendations, please, please list them for us. Like, uh, I don't know, I, I think I tried to reach out to someone, but I, I just couldn't get in contact with them. Okay. So it was, it was a little tough to find some people to yeah. help with. 